if you've never had a precognitive dream, yeah, what happens is you fall asleep and whatever signals and stuff that you've picked up throughout the um, throughout like the year or like throughout recent time and stuff like that, they all come back to you like and your brain works out what's happening basically. So my brain was like, I had a dream where my two housemates, I'd moved out of my house and my two ex-housemates were going, bro, I just don't see how you didn't see this coming. Like, you know, like this is obviously gonna happen sort of thing. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're right. And you know, I was like, but I can't believe it, she split up with me. Anyway, the next morning I, I wake up, it's like 5 a.m. I'm like, Jesus Christ. So I texted my girlfriend and said, um, I just had a nightmare. This is 12 past five. Little unhappy emoji. Nothing, yeah? Mm. You've seen this? No. This is joke. You need to see it. She replies at 8.06. Oh no, what happens? You know, what happened, yeah? I replied with, you were leaving me at 9.30. Was this how you broke up with your girlfriend? No, wait. Unhappy emoji from her. Bear unhappy emoji from me. And then, <laughs> so I've just gone, you were leaving me. She goes, oh, Jimmy, can we have a chat? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> What? And she was like, should I call you? Should I video call you? This is almost 2021. I look dumb. Wait, what? On oh, WhatsApp call. Something you need to get off your chest. No, hang on. Word man. You're just another fucking girl I used to know. But she was a now she was a bitch too. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that and then the next one next verse you could have that and as the ending like the, the one that you had originally and that could go into the chorus mm. pre-chorus where are you huh? yeah sorry <laughs> this is yeah, uninspiring for everyone else yeah no sorry uh, all right, I put the phone down and I was like, and I was like, oh no, this is kind of deep. And then Rob rang me for some reason. And I was like, Rob. Oh no, I rang him. I was like, Rob, I've just been done, man. And he was like, hey, it's Pete. I was like, oh no. I was like, oh, I never saw that coming. Except I obviously did. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I never saw that coming. <laughs> I just put my phone down about five minutes later. I just went, fuck. You didn't get you back to me. You said you wouldn't want to find out. But you say it all the time, say it, say it all the time. Nice. <clears throat> Whisper. No, you're pretty. No, Yeah, no, no, no. You do. You always need that person, the kind of uh, like the middleman in any kind of, especially creative partnerships. They always work. Well, they don't always work nicely, but like if you've got a glue guy, mm. it works so much better. Mm. You know, probably be right. Yeah, I, I suppose just do it, and then we can like pitch it and see. All right. I know you're pretty far away now. But it's been playing on my mind since we spoke last week. Thinking of a way to find out. And it's been playing on my mind, playing, playing on my mind. No, he said we never settle down. Is there something I can say to get you back to me? He said you wouldn't want to find out. I bet you say it all the time, say it, say it all the time. Bet you say it all the time.
time Say it I know you're pretty far away now